Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, This Farming World, and as you can see, we are back in Farming Simulator 2022. Um, yeah, what a lovely game it is. Uh, I really haven't played much, but I thought now is the perfect time to make a tutorial on how to do the uh, olive farming in the game. So, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to jump straight into it, because I know you guys are probably in a rush to get playing yourselves. So what I'm going to do is you hit P to go into the store, uh, scroll down to, where is it, down to the bottom here, the three bars, and you go into construction, and you see the um, tabs here at the top, and you click production, and then just down here below, you go orchards, and you can either choose, I'm pretty sure the um, growing sort of sequence if you like or the maintenance for the crops is the same so it's similar with grapes and olives but we are going to be using olives just for an example in this video uh, so what you want to do is click the olive grove and then um, it says there you can't plant it in August so that's the first lesson for both of us what I'm going to do is going to skip to when you can plant which is in if we check here uh, no, that's not where we check. There's the seasons somewhere, probably. Here we go, calendar. So, as you can see, you go escape and onto the crop calendar, and you can see that um, olives need to be planted in sort of March, April, May time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to those bumps and be right back. Right, guys, so as you can see, we are back in March. So, uh, we're going back into construction, production, orchard olive grove and now we should be allowed to place so all you do is you go on a field which you own you have to own it obviously and you click and then simply just move your mouse along um, and then click again it's simple as that and then um, you right click to cancel so um, we'll do it again just to show you so make sure it's nice and lined up if you want it neat uh, I think it it shows you where you can sort of place without snapping on so where where's the best place without being the sort of snapping onto this bit so you've got it sort of here I think it's the best place uh, come to the end and click again uh, we'll do three just to show you guys um, something like that see that one could have been a bit closer when we got to the end we might have swayed off a bit but anyway so that's it as you can see they are here they are expensive and at the minute they have um, no fertilization state or anything so what they need first of all is well you need to start uh, moving on in time so if we skip to the next day um, the grass will start to grow in between and that is when we need to mulch it so if I skip to the next day, we should see this grass start to grow. Okay, guys, so here we are. Um, I did not skip to the next month. I, in fact, ended up skipping uh, four months, I believe, or five. Uh, so we planted it in March, and I skipped April, May, and June. And now in July, the grass has grown. Uh, and so this, so they're pretty um, carefree up until uh, July. So if you plant them in the uh, end of June, is probably a, an okay time to plant, and then... In July, the first bit of maintenance they need is the grass cutting. You can see here it's grown. So what you want to gonna do is go into the vehicle section, and you're gonna need a small tractor to make sure you can go up in between the vines. So for example, um, this little vent is uh, perfect for the job. You can change it, but it doesn't matter for the sake of this video. So you want to go ahead and buy one of them or rent. Uh, you can lease one too uh, if you can't afford it. And then, obviously, you're going to need the topper or mulcher. So you go into the machinery section, into mulchers, and it is just um, any one of these, I believe. This one might be a bit too big, but what we're going to use is just this one here. Uh, so it can fit up and down. So we're going to want to buy this too. This is very cheap. Uh, so here you are, if you tab into it. Um, you obviously hook it up and take it over to the uh, grapes, so or the olives, sorry. And um, so yeah, I'll drive it over there now. 
So here we are back at our olive trees with our mulcher and our uh, little tractor. Um, so what you want to do is just lower the mulcher down, turn it on and simply just drive right as close as you can get to the uh, olives without uh, hitting them. Uh, I'm still getting used to the steering in this game so um, yeah so you can go quite fast and as you can see it's just chopping it down. Uh, obviously, uh, in an ideal world, you'd have way longer um, olive sort of trees, so they'd go all the way along to the bottom of the field, uh, so you wouldn't have to do so much turning. So you can see it's doing quite a good job here. It's as simple as that. So I'll finish the rest of this, and then uh, I'll get back to you with the next step. So as you can see, I have finished mulching between the olive trees. So the next step is obviously take your mulcher off. And the next thing that we need to do is cultivate in between the uh, olive trees. So what you're going to need for this is if you hit P again, go to the shop and instead of the implements tool uh, icon, click the little box and go here and it'll take you to packs. Then you want to go into olives and then you want to scroll right to the end and there is a little cultivator here. Uh, as you can see so this is what you're going to need so go ahead and buy that and again you're going to have to go back to the shop pick it up and bring it back so i will do that off camera for you guys okay so here we are so once you've picked up your cultivator it's the same as with the um mulcher you just want to drive alongside lower the cultivator down and it's as simple as just driving next to the uh olive trees here and making sure it's getting uh, cultivated in between so um, just like that it is still leaving the grass uh, textures a little bit but you can see that the majority of the um, natural grass is turning into sort of dirt so you shouldn't see much sort of green texture left uh, with the middle ones, I'm not sure if it's quite wide enough to do it in one pass, but that you have to find out. So anyway, yeah, that's the next step, uh, cultivating. So I'll finish this and, um, yeah, get back to you in the next thing. Okay, so we have finished cultivating. As you can see, the majority of this uh, texture here has gone and it's just the odd blade of grass sticking through. Uh, and as you can see on the field info in the bottom right, we have no uh, fertilized zero percent and no wheat so obviously the next step is to help these uh, olives along is you're going to need to fertilize it so for that you go back to the uh, shop back to packs to grapes and what you're going to need is this here which is a hardy sprayer uh, which is obviously uh, especially for grape vines so or olive vines i keep saying grape but they're they're pretty much the same um, system so we're gonna need to buy this now for this uh, once you brought it and you're at the store you're going to need to fill it up obviously because uh, it needs fertilizer and fertilizer you will find in the in here here we go in objects so it's this little tab here and what you're going to need is pallets liquid fertilizer and you're going to want to go ahead and buy that um, make sure when you buy it it's liquid fertilizer because obviously this is a sprayer so it needs to be uh, in the liquid form uh, so once you've brought that you drive up next to it from to at the shop press R it will start refilling and once you've got enough which we have and it's actually full you uh, head back to the farm and start to fertilize right so once you're back at the farm and you've got your fertilizer it's as simple as just driving down the row as all of the other things have and you just want to hit B turn the uh, fertilizer or sprayer on and um, just drive down the rows here um, it looks like you get two rows in one uh, when you do this so if I had another sort of row to my left I would go in between here I wouldn't go back to this one um, so yeah you simply just drive down the row like that as you can see it's spraying the leaves and now that should say it is 50% uh, fertilized, which it does. And you can also check this on your map if you go to the map and to the fertilizer section. 
uh, you can see here that it is the first color of blue. So now what you want to going to do is uh, leave them now. Um, we will go and sleep and they will carry on growing and then you, so I'm going to skip a month and then next month we will apply fertilizer again. Okay we are back and as you can see we are now in August so we have skipped a month and we're just going to do exactly the same thing. Um, we're just going to simply drive up turn the sprayer on, drive down the row and come back the other side and this will give the olives their second application of fertilizer you cannot do it in the same time at the same time so you can't put both on at the same time that's why you have to skip a month to let the old fertilizer get taken in so you can put a new fertilizer on so now you've done that uh, this should say here it is 100% fertilized, which it does, and again, you can check the map, and it is dark blue, which is what you're looking for. So now, we are literally a month away from when we can harvest, so that is all we have to do until harvest now. So I'll skip to the next day, and it will be harvest time. Okay, so here we are, final, final stage of the olives. Uh, as you can see, they are grown. You can walk between them. It says ready to harvest down at the bottom, and you can obviously see your olives on the trees. So I actually had to skip two months um, because obviously October is when you harvest. That's why it's an orange. Um, so yeah, all that's left to do now is spend a lot of money. So what you want to do is go back to packages, go back to olives, and what you're going to need is a olive trailer. Uh, and a actual harvester. So here is our harvester. So we're just going to buy this. And the trailer, you just got to make sure it has the olive sort of symbol. Um, so any trailer will do. I mean, I think this is going to be a bit too big for a um, little tractor, but for the sake of the video, it will have to do for now. So what you're going to do is take this back to the field obviously okay so as you can see I've got the trailer back and I've brought our grape harvester back so once you are in your grape harvester it's as simple as just hitting X to unfold the machine and you'll see it will unfold and then you will just turn it on with B and then you just have to line up the grapes or the olives just drive down the row uh, as best you can like so and you can see the uh, sort of trimmings if you like get chucked out the back and then this is obviously the same all the time you just drive up the rows harvest the olives and then that is that's what you do so when you want to unload you well I'll show you that now you get to the end and I'm assuming that trailer is the right trailer because it's in the package okay so I uh, just did that little middle run off screen. So what you want to do is, once you finish, you just simply just back up to the trailer like this, and it say I for unloading, and you press I, and as you will see, uh, your olives will start to come out, and that's it. That's in the trailer. And once you finished unloading, that is it. You are done. So you can take your olives off in the trailer to the best sell point which you can check in the escape menu and click on olives and you can see where it's buying and you can also if you hit space or click down here you can see what time of year it's best to sell which is June so if you hold on to them till June you should get a better price so um, that is all I think and as you can see our lovely olives are harvested uh, so I hope you guys found this video useful uh, if you did give it a like and um, yeah, be sure to join me for the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.